feel the need to film this video right now while I'm still sitting in this energy and feeling so empowered and liberated by what I just experienced. So this isn't the most glamorous background or anything. I'm literally just sitting here in my room here in Bali where I'm staying here in Ubud and so let me take a second. Tonight I went to an event and it was a shadow dance event. Basically it's the same as an ecstatic dance. Okay, but it was hosted by a DJ. Um, his name was Toltec. And it was, I will just say this, the most incredible DJ set that I have ever experienced in my life. So if you don't know what a static dance is, it is a event. They have them all over the world, um, but I've been to a few here in Bali, in Ubud specifically. Um, it's an event where it's substance free, alcohol free, um, you're not allowed to talk, so it's like a silent event, um, and no videoing or cameras, photo photography allowed. So it is this beautiful, sacred space that is created by such beautiful people and the amazing people who host these events. It is just magical. It's a space where you are f truly free to express yourself. You can dance like a freak if you want to. Dance, create, move, feel. Oh, you can tell I'm like really passionate about this. Um, and you really can just like dance yourself into this trance and just come like really come into your body and the experience that you can have on that dance floor is like no other. Now I would just like want to talk a little bit about my experience tonight. So I actually like tonight, today's Saturday and I did an ecstatic dance yesterday as well. So last night, Friday night, um, so two nights in a row because it was just so juicy and good. But tonight in particular, <sighs> the music was out of this world, <laughs> firstly. <laughs> And there was just something about tonight. I just felt like I was taken on a journey. I was just transported through like the depths of myself. I've never felt my body so much. I cried, like sobbed on the dance floor, sobbed. I was crying. I could not stop crying. Tears just running down my face as I was just embodying my true feminine self, allowing my emotions to come up, be released, and just express whatever was bubbling up, whatever was coming to the surface. It was just there, and I was just holding it, letting it go, Letting it come out and letting it flow. And then there were moments where I was so filled with so much joy. I was laughing. Like, I, I couldn't stop laughing. Like, and smiling. Like, I could not stop smiling. And that was, <laughs> it was just magic. And then, yeah, those moments, like, I just felt such sadness and what a roller coaster of emotions actually and you know that's just music.
that's the power of music and movement the connection to your inner self that's what that is and it really creates this healing experience this healing journey and i definitely feel like that's where i was tonight i was just taken on this healing journey <laughs> healing these wounds and releasing this like tension and grief that i've been holding on to for this lot the last couple of weeks and i was shifting these emotions of sadness and maybe like some anger as well but a, a lot of sadness was coming up and that's okay <laughs> You know, one thing, I've never been afraid to show my emotions. Never been afraid to cry. Um, I cry when I'm happy. I cry when I'm sad. Um, and and it's, it's a good thing. I think it's a really, really healthy thing. And I think it's something we need to embody more of, is allowing ourselves to feel, feel really feel what's coming up for us. And... If you want to cry, cry. And I speak to all the men out there as well. If you want to cry, cry. Let it come out. Let it, let it flow. Let it flow, let it fly. If you happen to be in Ubud, in Bali. Or, yeah, let me just talk about Ubud, Bali for a second. Because this place is seriously the like a container for healing here I feel cradled <laughs> um, it's like it's like the place to slow down it's like you come here to slow down and to heal but while slowing down you're actually really propelling yourself forward so fast like you're moving so fast towards whatever it is you're calling in or manifesting you can move so fast towards that space towards that version of you I have received so many answers about my purpose I've had so many aha moments, synchronicities. Um, it's like the universe is just giving and giving and giving and I am so open to receiving. And the fact that I am sitting here right now filming this after the night that I have just had that is literally evidence of everything that I'm saying. So the DJ tonight actually said at the end of his set, he never would have thought that four years ago he would be doing what he is doing now. And he said to us all to, not his words, basically to not hold back from fulfilling our purpose and doing the things that we are really being called to do and he invited us to do it and do it now now is the time to share your gifts with the world i'm pretty sure he did say those words exactly he said the world needs your gifts now more than ever and he's so right Okay, that'll do. I should have a shower right now because I definitely look gross. And that was very, very sweaty on the dance floor. Those hips don't lie. Alright, peace.